is up you guys King Lagerfeld here back with another video reaction and today we're going to be doing a video by Hood Nature this is animals that have beef um, I'm pretty sure that's the circle of life I mean <laughs> every animal has its natural uh, predator every animal is natural prey to somebody I mean it's just a circle of life right what did Lion King teach us I mean, of course, but uh, let's go ahead and see this video by Hood Nature to see which animals have uh, beef. Let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Some of the nastiest beefs in nature. Lions and hyenas hate each other on a very personal level. We saw hyenas that in Lion King. Hyenas will lions that they catch alone and tear them apart with jaw strong. Oh my god. The they prefer to bully lion <laughs> that lion is getting lions jumped. too weak to defend themselves. But lions aren't pushovers, especially the males who will sometimes actively seek out the leader of the hyena clan just to fold her. <laughs> lions also have a nasty habit of not killing them but breaking their spines and paralyzing them just so they can suffer a slow and painful death and they have no more Dang. issues doing this to hyena cubs. Not to mention lions will steal from hyenas whenever they can but since hyenas can usually outnumber and outsmart them this is beef that will always have blood on both sides. Unlike this, because wow. dolphins usually beat the brakes off of sharks and sometimes will even torture and slap around baby sharks. Sharks actually fear dolphins because positive dolphins can and sharks a shark until it's lifeless. But a shark is still a shark, and this is what can happen if it catches one without its friends. I'm but sharks sure. usually <laughs> get bodied. Hippos and rhinos are two of the most territorial aggressive animals in Africa, and they do not like each other. Rhinos are bigger with a horn that can put a hippo in the dirt, but hippos can often intimidate the less intelligent rhinos with those teeth. Yeah, but uh, once in a I've while, the rhino will call its bluff and send it running. These walking tanks typically avoid each other, but if they pull up to the same watering hole, someone's gonna snap the animal <laughs> beefs part two. Hippos have a problem with anything with a heartbeat, but they save extra Does disrespect he bite for an alligator? With jaws that can turn one croc into two, hippos go out of their way to bully and harass crocodiles just for a living. Plus, you can't tell me there isn't hella disrespect intended right here. Like, he knows he can't do anything. Wow. Because any crocodile caught in a hippo pool party is probably not coming out of it alive. But crocs aren't complete victims. Oh. They'll snatch and toss around any unaccompanied baby hippos that are just far enough away from their homicidal mothers. One of the greatest Why you gotta go for the baby the hippos? Where nobody sees it. Sperm whales actively hunt the colossal squid. Now, Leave the babies the alone. The teeth on the planet, <laughs> you would expect this overgrown calamari to be an easy target. But the 46-foot squid is armed with a razor-sharp beak that is tough enough to tattoo even the thick skin of a whale. Most, if not all, sperm whales have battle scars from their so encounters squids with Whales Usually have the whale too? wins, but not without a fight. One of the most dangerous snakes in the world is the cobra, and some species are venomous enough to put an elephant on life support. Nobody told me to catch that. <laughs> Gangs will jump the deadly snake and surround it on all sides, and since they don't tolerate snakes in their hood, if they can't intimidate, they will exterminate. They're not totally immune, though, and one bad strike from a cobra could put a meerkat out of commission. This beef has bodies on both sides. Nasty animal beefs, part three, and we're gonna need the whole video for this one. Because the closest thing to on-site in nature is the gang war between the mongoose and the snake. This beef is so ripe because the survival of one quite literally depends on the death of the other. Wow. Mongoose will harass, kill, and eat snakes because nature gave I mean, them venomous resistance that, and they forgot that how to act. Go but notice I said resistance is not immune because you're not completely immune. If a cobra gets too many hits on it, the mongoose will drop and sometimes the snake will eat it. Meaning this might be the only beef where both sides eat each other. But the worst version of this beef is between the black mamba and the mongoose. The black mamba can flatline a man in 40 minutes and one bite can murk 15 people. The mongoose what? is a vicious murder weasel that takes lives like he gets paid for it. What? The gray mongoose was actually introduced to Hawaii because people thought they would handle the rat population, but ironically they seem to handle almost everything but. <laughs> These stat patterns nearly wiped out the entire population of the island they were on. The black wow. mamba's lightning fast, but the mongoose is pure crackhead determination, which is why these confrontations usually only have one survivor. The mongoose baits the snake into striking by dancing around it and dodging last second, and once the snake tires, it puts it out with a crushing bite to the back of the head. But if the mongoose slips up and takes too many hits, it's curtains. Nasty animal beefs, Dang. part four. I know what you're thinking. This black Air Force with teeth has beef with everything alive. <laughs> True, but there's one animal they seem to disrespect the most. Because unlike lions black and hyenas who always hold teeth. Beef, the leopard is smaller and hunts alone. So to avoid getting bullied out of their lunch, they'll carry all of their victims high in the trees where almost nobody can How reach. do you carry but of course, a whole it's fair, it is not animal up a tree? They'll climb the tree and blatantly steal the uh, leopard's meal, sometimes animal, right nature in is scary. Them. And I'm like a true menace of society, if this honey weasel gets caught by the leopard, it'll throw a massive temper tantrum by screaming, rattling its teeth, and producing a foul smell by turning its anus inside Ew. out. But leopards are leopards and they've been known to murk honey badgers. But killing a honey badger is like bending a thumb tech. Even if you succeed, it'll cost you blood. <laughs> Leopards go for the neck, but honey badger skin is so loose that they can actually turn around and bite the cat's face. And wow. according to urban legend, they'll bite something else. Leopards will try to pick off baby badgers because they see them as an easy target, only to get severely vibe checked by the angry mother. And since leopards don't have a pride or a pack to call for backup, it's not uncommon to see them get bullied by a dog-sized weasel. Doesn't mean a leopard won't smoke a badger pack. Leopards hate badgers, and badgers don't respect them. Nasty animal beefs, part five, and this is gonna be a bloody one. Because the Amazon has a brutal turf war, but instead of reds and blues, it's river otters and caimans. The giant river otter is a vicious carnivore. That's a random beef. Feet long, and as a honey badger of the Amazon, they'll step to birds, snakes, and they'll even smoke a piranha pack. But the animal they have the most hate for is a smaller cousin of the crocodile the black pack. caiman and when they see one it's literally on sight. Adult otters will surround the caiman and harass it with a gang cry that sounds way too much like screaming children. 
Oh, that does sound like uh, screaming kids. But the caiman isn't soft and any otter that gets too close to his jaws is instantly lunch meat. So the otters use their numbers to have some distract the caiman while the others attack, all while avoiding those deadly jaws. Once the caiman makes the mistake of turning around, the otters jump it, with some holding it down while the others bite its head. Sometimes after they put oh the caiman God. on the shirt, they proceed to tear it apart and eat it. But don't feel too bad, because the caiman will snatch up any baby otters that wander too far from their family, which is exactly why they hate them. Okay, Even so if the it's otters a fair win, fight. the caiman sometimes takes a few babies with it. But when these two score up, both sides take losses. As the animal beefs, part 6. This is probably going to be the most what random. Jaguars like are that. leopards on protein that bully the entire jungle, so who could possibly step to them? Not the caiman, they get their wig split. Not the tapir, they get violated too. Out of all the animals in the Amazon, there seems to be only one that can make a jaguar pump fake. Let me explain why this homicidal vacuum is a menace. They eat turbines that, that can be as hard and as solid as cement. So they use those are claws to tear through the uh, concrete like apartments. Which is why the giant anteater can soul snatch a jaguar, and they've even been known to swing oh. and one-shot them. They also have terrible eyesight, meaning they overcompensate with a filthy temper and Arthur anger is that means they choose first to breathe the moment they see something move. It also helps that that bushy tail is designed to confuse a jaguar who can't tell which end is the head, and guessing wrong could get it crippled. Oh. They're dangerous enough to make a jaguar Shoot. hesitate when they decide a quick meal isn't worth a trip to the ER. But we're not gonna act like the jaguar's a bitch. It's the third largest big cat, they're the only right. ones that clap prey with a bite to the head, and they'll skull check an anteater if they catch it slipping. And a predator's a predator, whether you're a big cat or EDP, miners are always an easy target. They'll snatch up any baby anteaters as a snack. They always have to be careful though. See, why do they have to keep going for the babies? For Leave the babies out of the beef. <laughs> injury is basically a death sentence. These two usually avoid each other, but when ch gets active, one of them's probably getting buried. Nasty animal beefs, part seven. Now you might be wondering what animal is crazy enough to check a 500 pound stripe delete button known as the Bengal tiger. They're one of the biggest big cats, one of the few animals that should have been drug tested. It takes the world's <laughs> meanest bear to challenge them. Sloth bears are smaller than grizzlies and polars, but the generational trauma of running fades with leopards and tigers have given them a nasty temper. And when you have a bear with the morality of a honey badger and a personality of a power tool, you get a demon yogi that will step to tigers. But the reason sloth bears go so hard is because tigers will actively hunt and eat their cubs. Even though a sloth bear hasn't been known to murk a tiger, a desperate mother will fight That's to the That's the death, only thing I wish, is that they would leave the baby. The out of the, but out tigers of the are not always finna like, go out like that. Let them live. Send a bear to God's drop box with one swipe. And for some tigers, bears are a confirmed part of their diet. Sloth bears eat termites, so tigers will sometimes wait for them at termite mounds just to take their life when they're not even looking. But sloth bears are relentless and they go for the face. So they which plan be really their bad stuff. Because the, the bear can injure a tiger so severely that it can't hunt, which is basically a death sentence. Yeah. Which is why sloth bears can sometimes run them off. Sloth bears and tigers hate each other on a very personal level. Which is why Shere Khan and Baloo never <laughs> with each other. Not only do owls and crows not <laughs> with each other, their beef is so real that even if they've never been exposed to one another, owls they will crows. actually try to murder each other on sight. Owls are honey badgers with feathers that'll score up with much larger raptors like eagles and hawks, to the point where even the symbol of America is terrified of them. Owls are very much up and a lot of species like the great horned owl like decapitate owls. their prey by the I time like they get the way to the they look. So if you ever see an animal with its head divorced from its body, it's possible an owl caught it slipping. But the truly Dang. messed up part is owls have night vision and can fly silently, meaning they can take lives Ooh. without ever making a sound. <laughs> Crows will squat up and jump the owl and personally turn it into a feathery pack. Crows are so petty that if one sees an owl out during the day, it'll call for reinforcements just so it can show them why a group of crows is called a murder. Basically, owls and oh crows are like God. a bird version of lions and hyenas. One on one, the owl claps the crow, no question. But if a homicide of crows catches the owl slipping, it's curtains. Crows have been seen harassing and assaulting roosting owls during the day, and sometimes they will Leave stop the owls straight up past tense. But considering <laughs> owls like the Great Horned will raid crows' nests so and chicks inside, I'll call beef. Them. It's so bad that you can't have owls or crows anywhere near each other in zoos or aviaries, because even if an owl's never met a crow before, it will still choose first degree and vice versa. The reason for this beef is actually really simple. Owls are predators that'll eat literally anything, including crows, and crows are smart enough to do something about it. The same crows that okay. can remember a face after five years have developed an instinctual hatred towards owls, because owl racism is ingrained in crow society. And the same owls that'll harass eagles and hawks see the crow as an easy target. And this beef has been going on for millions of years, meaning both crows and owls wake up and choose bird on bird hate crime. <laughs> I mean, like I said, it's just a circle of life. You know, animals that live in the same environments, they're going to have beef. Like I said, the only thing that I wish is that they would leave the babies out of it. Like, why do we have to eat the baby alligators, the baby hippos? They, they didn't do nothing. The baby tigers. I mean, they didn't do anything. Like, like just leave them alone. Leave it between the adults. I mean... <laughs> But I mean, if somebody eats your babies, of course it's gonna be beef, right? So yeah, this is a, a great video. I mean, I knew animals in nature had beef, but just to see it like that, I mean, dang, like <laughs> that was crazy. But another great video by Hood Nature. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, be blessed, be your best, and keep down the stress. Bye guys.